Hello everyone and welcome back to our How to Become an Educator at an Academy course. This is me, my name is Jade and I study languages and I teach English and Portuguese. And I believe if we want to be great teachers, we have to be great students. Okay, so this is me. And this is the bonus lesson of our course. This is the last lesson. And I'm going to show you some design tips of how to do a minimalistic design when developing your PowerPoint presentation. Because many teachers are struggling with PowerPoint presentations, so I'm going to give you some tips and I'm going to help you to decide which template and which font and colors to use, okay? So first, the first thing you have to choose is a template. So the tip is choose one with 80 to 90 percent white or clear background okay so you have to choose like this one it 90 percent of it it's white it only has a little bit of blue on top so it's okay so you have to choose one like this which is clear on the background okay and use a dark letters so let's play a game i'm going to show you some templates some designs and we are going to decide if we can use it or not for our lessons, okay? So first design, this one. This is the title slide. First thing I would prefer this title was here in the middle. So I would bring that to the middle. But if you said we couldn't use this design, now I'm going to show you the content slide. It's white. It's 90% white, so we can use it. Here is the topic and here is the content. So the content and the topic are both in dark letters and the background is white. So you have to look at the content slide before choosing a design or a template. Because sometimes this slide is white, but sometimes it's not. So this one could be just brown like the previous one. There's no way for us to guess it, we have to look at it. So, second design is this one. Bright red. It's already a little bit shocking, isn't it? So, you can see the difference between white and red background. So, this is a course title, but what about the contents? Ooh, it's also red. What should we do? Choose it or not choose it? As you can see, this is not white and this is not clear, okay? This is not a clear background and the letter is white. So, it should be the opposite. If it was like a white background and red letters, I still wouldn't use red letters. But if it was the white background and the red letters, it would still be useful. But all red, it's not good for lessons. It may be useful for something, but if you are watching a 10 minute lesson with this design, it, it becomes tiring for our eyes, okay? So it's definitely a no. Next design, green. It's a happier color, it's a lighter color, and it's a more peaceful color. So this is the course title. And now we're going to look at the content slide. Would it be white? Would it be green? It's white. It has green on the outside, but 80% of it is white. And the letters are dark, so we can use this one. Okay? So, you have to look at the content slide. There's no way for you to decide, only looking at the title slide. So, this one is useful. Next one, this one. Oh, it's blue. It's really, really blue. If it was like a really, really clear blue, it will be useful, but this is blue and the letters are white. What about the content slide? Ooh, still blue. With white letters. So you can see that the topic is still readable, but this one is really, it's really fade and it's really hard to read. So if you put a big text here, and a lot of sentences, it will be hard for 
difficult to read. So it's definitely a no. Okay, now next. Mm, this course title is already white in the background and dark letters. Only a few, a little bit of gold here on the side, but it's still 90% white. What about the content slide? Will be all of it gold or will it be white? It's white. It's just like the, the title slide. It's white and black letters. So it's great. So now you could see like three useful options for design for you to choose. So it's not hard. You just have to look at it and see the background color and choose a dark letter. And it's done, okay? So now, next, how to choose fonts and colors. Use a simple readable font. So there's no need for you to choose a fancy font, okay? Or a handwritten font. Also, choose a neutral and dark color. Neutral means black. So if you're not sure which colors to use, just choose black, okay? And I, I said neutral and dark because it's not because it's red, because it's neutral, because red isn't neutral. So just go for black, okay? And use a big letter size. So there's no use in choosing a dark letter and a readable font if you put it in tiny, tiny letters. So use a big font, as a big size, okay? So, let's play a game again. Which one should we choose? So, these are all the, the colors for this design that I'm using. So, which one should we use? This one is neutral, this one is neutral, this one is neutral. This one are colorful. So, this one are ex these three ones less are excluded. Even if you like orange, if you really, really like purple. But if you can see that it's not as easy to read as the three first. And between these three, which is the darkest? Obviously the second one, because it's black. So, when choosing between colors, choose the most dark and neutral at the same time okay you can see that it's the easiest easiest to read between all six now fonts which fonts should we use so you can see that this one this one is really confusing really hard to read so we can just cut this out and this one also really hard to read and this one is a bit readable, this one too, but the most easy to read are these two. So there are these two, and this one is the easiest to read because it's thicker and it's more round. I don't know, it's, it's easiest to read, so you can choose the easiest font to read. Okay, beauty doesn't matter, it has to be functional. So, even if you love this font, you can save it for your wedding invitation. So, please don't use this one in your lessons. Or this one, or this one, okay? Please, for God's sake. So, that was it for today's lesson. I taught you how to choose a template, how to choose a letter color or a font. So, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you, you could laugh a little bit with me. And I hope you learned it. So take notes and if you forget it, just go back to this lesson, watch it again, play the games again with me and I hope you can do great lessons with clear backgrounds and dark letters, okay? Please rate, review the scores, comment, comment down below what do you think, if you disagree, if you are still going to use like a red background or a yellow background. And you can follow me for the next lessons and my next courses. So thank you for watching. Thank you for following me through this course. And I hope you can make great lessons from now on. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.